<laughs> I'm sorry, Michael. You were, you were, you were jumping. Um, Michael sent me a tweet. This is pretty important, and I'm gonna let Michael take the stage here. Uh, let's pull the tweet up. Stand. And it basically has to do with higher body counts uh, in married women, and how linked to their higher probability. C can we ask the question before we show the Michael, answer? Michael, I'm gonna allow you, you know what? As CEO of this, state, of this show, I'm gonna give you the Chief Operating Officer uh, alignment Go ahead, Michael, this, the floor is yours. Ladies, uh, put a red, uh, a green if you think it does matter, a red if you think it doesn't matter. Does body count matter? Does a woman's body count matter before she gets married to a man? Does it have any, does it have any direct correlation to happiness in the relationship? Put a red if you think it does, put a, uh, I'm sorry, red if you think it doesn't, and green if you think it does. Michael, okay. you have to remind him to put it up high. Put it up high so we can all see it, got okay. it, okay, cool. So cool. we've got about 50-50 situation, we have so no, so, it doesn't count, so yes, ready? yes, no, no, no. Yeah. Right. So, okay. so for those of you who said yes, could you keep your red ones up, the green ones, you guys can put it down. If I were to do a, a study, and I were to look at women who cheat in a relationship, and women who don't cheat in a relationship, and I was looking at previous sexual partners, would I find more sexual partners and women who did cheat in a relationship or women who didn't cheat in a relationship? What do you guys think? Did. Who did? No, no, the, you three, well, the, you four. Would I find more sexual partners and women who did cheat in a, in a marriage or women who didn't? No, Previous I sexual think partners. they probably well, they got it all out of their huh? system. They don't need to cheat. Right, so, I, so I you're, saying, you're saying I should, <laughs> I should find the same number of sexual partners and women who did cheat and women who didn't cheat before they got married. Is that correct? I mean, Are you really going to ask him? Like, does it matter that weird. much to you? If you're going to no, no, bring no, no, an Excel uh, sheet it, to, an, uh, to a relationship, that's, that's weird. Maybe excessive. someone got all out of No, no, no I'm not 21. asking anything. I'm asking. At 30, they're different. Uh, we do a survey with thousands of people. And I do, when we do the survey, we ask women, you women who cheated, do you, how many sexual partners do you have? And you women who didn't cheat, how many sexual partners do you have? If I, when I do this survey, am I going to find out that women who have cheated, are they going to have more sexual partners before they were married or fewer? How the fuck do we know? I've never because cheated. You can do, because you can do a survey. That's how you know. Mm. I've never cheated. I don't know. I don't know the survey. I think high mileage should be with high mileage. Okay. That's cool. just my opinion. So I, I, what I was so the answer sorry, that you guys, so you guys, you guys oh, I'm sorry. The answer that you guys have to give is that you should have the same number of sexual partners for women who did cheat and women who didn't, because you just said by holding up the red thumbs down that there is no correlation between a woman having more sexual partners before she's married and the likelihood of her cheating. So if we did a study, study please. Okay. <laughs> what we should find is that the, really with the same, we should find the study. same, we should find the same it's number of punch it over, Emily. I mean, it doesn't. Hold on. Well, well, it's, but, uh, I love. Hold oh, on, Michael. It's oh, Michael's time oh, to no, speak. No, no, no. My, my favorite part is it's all circumstantial, and you don't care about studies, and I haven't even pulled up the study yet. Maybe the study agrees with you. You don't know, but the answer is. <laughs> <you're>, <laughs> but here's the thing: women who have cheated in women who have cheated in a marriage have two hundred and thirty percent more sexual partners before they're married than women who don't cheat in a marriage. So the there opposite. is a now data showing a scientific correlation for, between high body count and a likelihood of a woman cheating in a relationship. Now, the data is over. The, the question that you've had on here before, that's a fun question to ask, we don't have to ask anymore. Does body count matter? The answer is Yes. Let's show have the data the real quick. I would assume so, you know, that they would show your work. They got, Punch in they on got that. You can, you can, Michael, would you be a, a professor would and stand up and should point yeah, to something? So, over so the, main, the main thing I want yes. you to look at here is total male <laughs> sexual partners ever cheated? No and yes. And you go right there. The mean. For women who did not cheat, it was 3.87. And for women who did cheat, it was 8.93. That is two and a half, that's 2.3 times as much. If you read on the bottom, the average number of male sexual partners for married women who cheated in, uh, on their husbands was 2.3 times higher than those who did not cheat. An independent yes. test found that the difference means uh, between the two groups was stati statistically significant. So if it was 10% more for women who cheated or 20% more, no, it's 230% <laughs> more. Like this is, uh, this is this is undeniable at this point. That's wow. the first thing. So, Michael, um, because we got to get to Rolo, give us your final assessment on what happened. You've, you've showed us the evidence. You've laid out your case. I know law school was abolished, yeah. but I, I, this is something that you're going to allow to show the jury here. Prevent your uh, present your evidence and let them know where they should do and how they should implement yes. this information to their life. There's if you guys want to sleep with hundreds of men, that's not the issue. That's not the problem we're saying. But what we are saying is there may be some correlation between a woman who either wants to have sex with a lot of men, not being successful in a marriage, 
or a woman having sex with a lot of men causing different neurological changes or endocrine, or endocrine changes that cause her to not be able to function in a marriage. And so good advice might be, according to this data, to not have a ton of sexual partners before you get married and for men to not marry a woman with a lot of sexual partners. This is not the only data that's done this. This is just one that was done in 2021. This is the whole virgin bride situation. Well, but, but my, my point yeah. is, my point is, I never, with a high, what's a high value man? Keep asking that if you want. Yeah. Does body count matter? That question's done. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Last question, ladies, and then we're going to go to the happy ending. And mm. I appreciate the team hanging out. So this is for Rolo. Okay. You know, when you ask Rolo, um, here's what I love about Rolo. I asked Michael, what do you want to talk about today? He sent me a tweet. He did that. <laughs> Rolo uh, Sterling said, I, I got these three things. I picked one. Rolo sent me a, an essay. Yeah. Via That's text. what I do. I'm a writer. Yeah, I, I'm with you. Forget about it. But I respect you so much that I had to include this. So if you like that clip, click right here to watch another. Or if you want to watch the entire SauceCast, click right here.